Hi there, my name is Pierrette Weifer as we heal each other. Today we are going to go with the reading of Sexual Astrology by the book of 1976 for Martine. And it's just for fun. And today is going to be for Virgo. So let's see what they're going to say if you're compatible with any other sign. <laughs> let's see says Virgo and Aries. Virgo may be intrigued by Odyssey. Aha, by Odysseus. Aries, Odysseus. What is Odysseus? But Aries needs a passionate bed mate and Virgo is too inhabited to fill the bill. Aries is always looking for adventure, and Virgo is inclined to stick to the tried and true. Virgo likes stimulating talks, Aries likes stimulating action. An unlikely affair and a marriage certainly not made in heaven. Virgo and Taurus. Taurus likes to enjoy its sex without too much fuss and bother, while Virgo likes to analyze, examine, and perhaps criticize. Hmm. Otherwise, Virgo proves a willing, if not passionate, partner for Taurus. In other areas, there is true compatibility. Both are ma materialistic, practical, admire efficiency, and are homebodies. Really? A happy through, happy to, not too exciting, a fair and decidedly workable marriage. Okay, <laughs> Virgo and Gemini. They may get, I should get a book that was more for me than, than this book, I guess. Virgo and Gemini. The reading is so hard. They may get along sexually because Virgo is rather impersonal in the areas of Gemini, is not usually too passionate. However, Gemini has a much more impulsive attitude towards making love and isn't likely to put up with Virgo's nagging. Gemini needs freedom and won't accept Virgo's desire to dominate and control. Virgo considers Gemini flighty and irresponsible a possible affair, but don't sign a marriage license. Ooh, that was Virgo and Gemini. Virgo and Cancer. Virgo provides the emotional security that Cancer needs and the little attention that proves affection. Cancer dependence finds its perfect answer in Virgo, needs to be protective. Cancer imagination is stimulating to Virgo and Cancer anxiety to please deepens Virgo affection. Both will come out of their shell and begin to enjoy life. An ardent affair, a lasting marriage. Ooh, that was Virgo and Cancer. Virgo and Leo. Leo is highly sexed, and Virgo is interested more in security than in the role of a hay. There will be squabble about this and about Virgo's unfortunate tendency to criticize, for Leo is and must remain above criticism. Virgo, practical, down-to-earth approach also conflicts with Leo's expanses 
optimistic nature. An affair is probably a one-night stand. A marriage can be a disaster. Ooh, that would be Virgo and Leo. Virgo and Virgo, they are they share a sexual reserve and consider a love relationship as basis for something more important, a life partnership. Demands in the bedroom will not be excessive, but that doesn't rule out complaint and criticism about what does take place. Virgo simply can't help it. A tense affair, but marriage is well as aspected if boredom doesn't set in too easily. Virgo and Libra. Loving and affectionate Libra is rebuffed by Virgo's cool and analytical manner. Virgo is overcritical and undermines Libra self-confidence. Libra occasional frivolity also displeases Virgo, who is intolerant of any indiscretion. The sign have little in common. Okay, so that was Virgo and Libra. An affair is difficult and it is better not to contemplate marriage. Virgo and Scorpio. These two are basically compatible. Although Virgo does tend to chill Scorpio sexual harder, harder, that's what it says. Scorpio keeps trying to make Virgo wake up to more sexual enjoyment and Virgo wonders why Scorpio is so ag aggressive. Can't they be friends as much as lovers? If Virgo is willing to compromise, Scorpio st stays tractable. An interesting affair with good vibes for a permanent union. Ooh, that was Virgo and Scorpio. Virgo and Sagittarius. Sagittarius' happy-go-lucky approach to love can drive Virgo crazy. Virgo's sense of security really suffer in this relationship. Sagittarius makes little or no attempt to understand. Virgo needs and it's impatient with Virgo prudent, prudish attitude towards sex. Inevitably, Sagittarius starts looking for other sexual outlet. The two might make it for a weekend together, but not for life. Virgo and Capricorn. Virgo is sexually drawn towards Capricorn, but the fireworks may fizzle. Virgo will find itself taken second place to Capricorn. Extra boudoir interest, and this may cause a certain conflict. Otherwise, the two signs work harmoniously together. Both are very practical, emotionally, reserved, thrif thrifty, and active intellectually. An affair could be rather dull. <laughs> A marriage will be strong and good. Virgo and Aquarius. Both tends to think of romance more as an intellectual pastime than a physical exercise. This ideal relationship is mirrored by the intrusion of other practical difference. Virgo is straight-laced about sex, and Aquarius veers towards the erratic. Virgo th thinks Aquarius neglectful. Aquarius thinks Virgo unresponsive. Love will tend to dis 
diminish rather than grow with time. A realistic affair and unwise marriage. So Virgo, the last one, Virgo and Pisces. Vir for Virgo, love is closely allied with security. Physical needs with mental comp compatibility. For Pisces, love is all encompassing the central charm of life, beauty and romance, and emotional excitement. Virgo, careful, disciplined approach to sex goes all awry when it comes up against the grandiose, unrestricted desire of Pisces. Unless Virgo reserves can be broken, this makes an uncomfortable short-term liaison and an unrewarding marriage. So that was Virgo. What do you think? Any truth in that? So as I said, it's just for fun. So I'm sending you energy, love, and a great big hug to you and you. And yes, that's you. Bye now. Till next time.